Hey everyone, welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. We're currently in the middle of doing the secondary quest for Gilom. I think that's the way you pronounce it. I'm still having trouble pronouncing his name. Uh, where we have to... Well, the tourney's over. I pretty much lost in the second uh, activity with the horse riding. I just really suck at that horse riding and then shooting the targets at the same time. So I think that part's over. Uh, but now we have to go and yeah, confront Vivian, which is Galum's lover. Well, in his mind, his lover. Because um, something's fishy about her. Something's up. So we got to see. We're going to go talk to her and see what's happening there. Uh, I thank you for your comments, guys. I know from reading them, I missed out on some good story time with Regis. I knew the moment that I picked to not drink with him that I might have regretted it. So I might go back and watch some videos on that one if I were to pick the drinking option with Regis. Um, but yeah, you guys mentioned that there was um, there would have been just a lot of good chat about Geralt and Regis's past, um, their journey together, um, and just catching up uh, with old friends. Um, kind of buzz, which I would have definitely enjoyed. But anyway, what's done is done, so I'm going to proceed on with this quest now, and then afterwards uh, I might carry on with the main storyline where we need to go capture our white. Um, but yeah, for now, let's see what's happening with Vivian. Uh, it's, for Vivian, it's they always, um, they said that after it goes dark no one's ever really seen Vivian around before so it seems like at night time uh, something happens to her so it's night time now and let's see what happens I got a feeling she she'll like transform into something at night time that's why no one gets to see her find Vivian strange we're sure I'd find her here Oh, that's some sort of expensive wine. But yeah, I got a feeling she's not human, eh? That's my guess. Because there's something magical around her. Flew off. We're going after her. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. So yeah, I got a feeling Gloom's love story it's gonna be a big fail for him which is sad but he needs to know the answers and we're gonna find the answers for him now where is the bird leading us to Come on. <laughs> leading us to some sort of cave or like a hideout hey where is it taking us there's another panther over there So many panthers on its boar this time. Got a wildlife out here. Not really monsters, eh? Just wildlife around here. Oof. Wait, give me a sec. So, Necrophage. Nefri necrophage? You guys told me not to fight it. Is this the white, the right um, quest? You guys told me not to fight it, or is it the one in the house that I wasn't meant to fight? I don't know. Let's 
easy. And it actually sucks though. That it's buddy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when you guys said not to fight the white, I think you mean in the main quest, right? Too heavy. Unrefined copper ore. This is a long ass journey for Vivian to find Vivian. Gloom better pay us well. Okay. Let's see. Oh, was that Vivian? So, what is she? What is her true identity? Witcher. Looks very pretty. Lady Vivian. Oh, she. Oh, the bird lost. is her. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I wanted them here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher. No, you were we're not. To kill me, were you not? We're not gonna kill then do you. So now, and do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters, and even then, not all. You're no monster. Yeah, she's no threat to humans, is she? Then what am I to your eyes? Afflicted by a curse. Don't know yet. Only thing I've figured out so far is you're no danger to anyone. Hope to learn more though. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. <laughs> oh, she didn't even Asked know do he's in love. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. Got nothing to fear. I will be discreet. I swear this on the Heron. You mock me. No, it's just... Mm. You want reassurances. Too many. If you want my help, you've got to trust me. Won't peep a word to anyone. Unless I decide someone needs to be let in on your secret. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. Ah. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it, and they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment, and when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. What's the creature? Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But fifteen summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full, but now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic mm. ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. There's no in purpose fact, to kill you. I was resigned to death in coming here. 
Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. She looks beautiful though. Magic illusion. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses or normal doses too long and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end and bid my human form a final farewell. The curse. Can we? Could be reversible. It's been so many Once years. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good, managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone mm. complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Yeah. So many years as well. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Oh, what? Out of the question. <laughs> onto I who? I allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So who do we another. transfer it to? Who do we transfer it to? You're quick to reject Pretty quick help. to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on a new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. Well, of course, if you have a good heart, you wouldn't All want right. to do that to someone there else. There is another ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual that involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. Is that worth I understand. it? Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet, truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. Mm. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Yeah, actually. Let's. That's actually pretty what good. Are you gonna... Like. Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. <laughs> Pardon me for a moment. But yeah, it's about the quality of life, not the length of life, so. Seven years is pretty good, I reckon. Seven years of complete freedom. But yeah, she's so beautiful in that form. Very beautiful. Okay, but now when I think about it, maybe uh, Guillaume might have a chance. I just thought that Vivian you was can change it, Will. evil, no. but I don't but think I discovered so. The water and of this pool helps. They might have a happy ending. Its effects are brief, but I can always be years, sure maybe. of them. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, they might have seven years of happy ever after, Guillaume Come. and Vivian. Okay, I'm sorry Vivian, I thought badly of you. I really thought she was going to be some sort of evil uh, vampire or something. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or... I don't know. Console <laughs> you her can't. at least. Can't do anything. Yeah, let's keep our promise. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. You hardly know her, Look, man. In time, Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand, the whole world doesn't revolve around you. That is How true. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. 
And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you. I regret it now. Uh, Do you even intend to compete to the end? Uh, he's so now selfish. Now that you bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need. He is so selfish, Guillaume. Ah, oh, I want to finish the tourney. Backing out of the tourney. Gonna wait for Vivian to sh Ah, oh, let's finish it. Ah, oh, what do I say? Let's finish it. Oh, I, I don't, don't know. I back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till the tourney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. Yeah, let's do the tourney because there more. It might be a an item I can win if I do win. But yeah, Guillaume, his character is becoming. I feel like all he thinks about is himself. Like even towards, even though he loves Vivian, I shall be he's the that quite you selfish do about it. Say for the duration of the fight. He wants it to happen clear? his way. Palmer and it's not really post. considering With her this feelings. Skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Hatter's Man. Any questions? None. I doubt you will do us any good. You know Ugh. nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. I Try thought... To stay out of our way. I thought he's forgiven us. Time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. I thought you've forgiven, forgiven us, man. Okay, let's do this. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight for tilt till one drops to its knees. Who virtue ignores or lance blows unclean shall on, never be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Let us begin! Count Rissaracus! Blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in buckets! Let's go. Come on. Hey, I think winning. Awesome. Oh no, not really. Hey. Oh no, 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 I'm not winning. Shit. A lone girl stands alone in fights on, but inside does he weep for those who have gone. Oh god. Shit, there's three. Okay, it's two. Oh, timing of my parry is so bad. Okay, never mind. Eek! Eesh. Oh god, come on. Oh, 
Ah, oh, there we go. All right, last one standing. The world's never seen a fight quite so glorious for showing such verve. Each night was Has to use like two potions though. Get in tornies as in life, but one champion may reign. Today he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. Palmer in the Longfall and Gregoire de Gorgon. Two knights of high valor shall fight to be champion. Champion. The of Rithia shall not stand in La Belle. Though hopes he raised high, a victory short, he fell. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Hey, you what's up the booze? Your loves, your whomevers. Hey, you're rude. Wasn't that rude? So we're gonna face Gregor. Greetings, my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an Oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure, but seems your tense grown ears. Oh. Please. Show yourself, Guillaume. Can hear you breathe, uh, and I know damn well yo. it's you. You selfish dude. He is so Why selfish. Here, this is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? No, we're the one that called him out. No, no scheming involved. Guillaume hired me, but this matter relates to you, not him. Didn't invite him here in any case. Actually surprised he showed up. My lady, I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I am yours to command. Are you quite finished? Is that all you wish to say? I... I, I suppose so. So you shall do what I command, sir. Very well then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent. Turn towards the Duchy's northern marches. And run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. Oh. Return only once you've cooled off. Then leave me be forevermore. Understood? Oh. My lady, but your your troubles. I, I only wish the the witchers see. Out now. Okay. Is that too harsh? Maybe I should you have chose the I other. Trust you. Maybe I should have chose the other option. Didn't tell him a thing. I kept your secret. Didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. I understand he hired you, so you had to report to him. But this is not his affair, Geralt. This is my life. We didn't tell him anything. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt. When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. Okay. Need to find an egg. Preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me, what will become of the chick? We'll have to break the egg. So I pretty much killed the chick. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. Oh, Vivian. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let us go. Oh, Vivian's got such a good heart. 
I actually like her a lot. Even I just misunderstood her in the beginning. She was just she had such a straight face, no emotions, and kind of cold. I thought she was a bitch, <laughs> but no, she's not. She is not. She's really. She's a really good person. This is the place. Stand back. Oh, whoa, that's fast. <laughs> Eee, I hope it's okay. Eggs fell on a moss Safe? patch. They're fine except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? Okay. Think so. And why is that bird always now, there? What must I do? It's, nah. No need to ask her again. You need to concentrate now. Repeat after me. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finarat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finarat. Muna Gandrao, Muna Finarat. Muana Gandrao, Muana Finarat. Oof. Oh. Shit. Oh, are they okay? <laughs> Wasn't that big of an explosion, was it? Why is Geralt passed out? Damn it. Geralt! Look! Look! Oh, gods! I shall be able to attend balls! I shall travel to Oxenfurt! To Novigrad, even! Thank you, Witcher! Out of thank Guillaume. He's the one hired me. To help you. Yeah. And you yes. pushed him away. I'm grateful to him as well, immensely. Will you tell him so for me? Oh, is she leaving? You should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should, but I would prefer not to. Convey my gratitude to him in my stead. Please, be so kind. Yeah, I think she's going. She's going to go travel. Sure, I'll tell him. Farewell, Vivian. Hmm. Oh, Yum's <laughs> gonna be so heartbroken. Uh, poor guy. But yeah, he was just living a fantasy in his head. Sorry, mate. To win the she was not on the same page. Geralt, what a Vivian. Managed to lift her curse. Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done? She asked me to pass on a message. Asked me to give you a message. Said she's grateful. Thanks to you, she can live a normal life. Good, good. But how does she fare? Vivian happy? Vivian chose what suited her best. She's completely free now. And happy, I think. Without me. You helped her, mm. but that doesn't mean she owes you her love. Yes, Got that line is so Philosophy true. Too, I guess, amateur. He'd say, if you love somebody, set them free. Man, you know that girls? line, that one you line. Your reward, so take it. But keep your advice to yourself. Adieu. Yeah, he needs to work on that part of his personality. He was bitter. Because he didn't get the girl in the end, but that's not the right way to think. But yes, that one line that Geralt said that even though he helped her, she doesn't owe him her love. That 
is so true. She doesn't owe you her love. That means he didn't help her with the right intentions if he was expecting her to love him back after helping her out like that. He didn't do it for the right intentions then. I remember you guys mentioned this. One of you guys mentioned this quest, so let's check it out. So we're back at the murder, the crime scene, where we first fought uh, Detla. My lips don't stink of wine. My wife won't know they're mine. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti, by order of the Duchess. I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. Cool, wait, this is our I place. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, <laughs> I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Yeah. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Yeah. You manage it for me. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman. A truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, great, okay. great, great <laughs> a long Indeed. Apparently, he tree. was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. Penchant? He, he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal oh. vineyards. He okay. never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. He oh, cool. Wild balls to which he'd invite like friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bones. Mm, I like that. Making it a positive out of a negative. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. I like this. So this is our property. So we can do things to it. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. That is amazing. What the hell? Pretty vast. Indeed. That's so generous now, of sir, the Duchess. Allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Oh my god, that is amazing! Uh, this whole life. place! Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him. As was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. So Major Domo, is it like some sort of like property manager? The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the Ducal Treasure. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. So yeah, Major Domo looks like some sort of property manager. I think that's the meaning of it. 
But man, that's that peasant servant just Baron now. Rossell Funny. The vines in this part of the estate uprooted, and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now either. No one can greet the damn Everyone's singing. I love it. I bet Down you this game. Your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Have to try it one of these days. Yeah, I'd love to. Um, yeah, this DLC must be really inspired from musicals. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the ruthless feast uh. that Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius spoon for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he nearly broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed to oh. wine, and he had survived. <laughs> like Jesus. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. Okay, well... Is his life turned for the good after that? Monsieur oh man, Bolius this is crazy. Nina kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Yeah. Can't wait to do that. So I'm guessing we can restore all of this and make it good, right? That would be cool. It's our own little project. Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. Barnabas Basil? This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Yay! Roach has his own little home. The cellars, voila! During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess. Yeah. <laughs> I made while well fighting the books, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. That must have been a lot of work. Thanks for that. You're a good major domo. And this is As where we can, can sleep. The facade is uh, it slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Yeah, I'd like to paint it. That'll be cool. And it painted a bright color. And welcome, welcome to my inside. crib. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. Yeah. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. Though one must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, yes, I'd love that. Consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take right you away. Up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Straight away. Let's go. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. It's in the house. Been thinking about the outer walls. 
Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Yeah, let's do it. It's in your hands then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Let's do the grounds as well. Got these spacious grounds. Maybe we just do it all at once. Maybe it's time to make them more uh, useful. Oh yes, we certainly should. Can we earn some money from it? Things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorer's table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? Yeah. Need an armor pier table. Yeah. My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Thank you. Good. Order me up a table like that. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Let's get the complete set. In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone. Professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Let's and do send this. out for one, please. A high quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. Uh, what happened? Man, this place is freaky. Strange. Get a sense that the spoons are giving out some kind of rhythm, a message, trying to tell me something. Okay. Okay, this place is freaky as man. I think this is the part where you guys said that I don't need to kill the white. I just need to figure out something. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Okay. So the white is cursed. I think. Maybe we can ch switch them back to human. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. Okay. At least it's daytime. What a pigsty. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. Okay, let's search it thoroughly then. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Stain diary. For a few days now, I've been having dizzy spells. I've never experienced anything like this before. If it carries on, although I can't stand witchcraft and sorcery, I'll have to visit a herbalist. Dizzy has not gone away. Worst of all, it's been joined by pain. It's so strong that at times I cannot see. I've been to the herbalist. A repulsive old crone looked at me like she had seen a monster. She gave me some kiss to make sure that I have to drink twice a day. It's not helping at all. Today, like every day, I looked in the mirror and I was lost for words. I do check that I don't have any wrinkles or bags under my eyes, but today there are no wrinkles, but I'd rather that there were. I have hair growing on my breast it's horrible it's got to be because of those damn herbs i went to see the herbalist the herbalist smashed face in but her chambers were empty she must have known what have happened to me and legged it 
Family scientists suspect something, although I'm cutting the hair back, which is growing back faster and faster. I've tried to put the idea out of my head, but I can't hold back any longer. Maybe it wasn't the herbs that have led to this, but a curse placed upon me by an old beggar whom I had to chase off one time. I have to find out. I want to hire someone who can find the herbalist. I cannot think, and it's getting hard to write. Loneliness, no family. Eat, I want to eat. Not a good spoon. Empty spoons, nothing. Eat, it hurts. Mirror, lies. No. Ah. Okay. Poor girl. Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. Smashed mirror. As if someone yeah. couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe? Spoon's. Okay, maybe we can lift her curse. So the, it's a girl who's been changed into a monster. No spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Spoon key. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. This certifies the item for auction, an antique spoon key fought at the Christofferson and Sons workshop in 1210. Belongs to Smeagol Circus, owner of the pheasantry. Let's turn on that candle. Yeah. I don't want to kill this girl, I want to save her. So let's keep Quite finding obsessed. those spoons. Real collector. Thoroughbred. Ooh. Hello. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It makes sense. The Kang letter. Dear Master Levisa, I know you track outlaws for pay. I'm an unusual assignment for you. No, no doubt you wonder why I've drawn you out here and why we cannot meet in person. You see in my present situation any kind of meeting is very risky, not so much for me. As for the person with whom I meet, for I'm afflicted by a curse, or as I hope and why I've turned to you, the side effects of medicine given to me some time ago by a herbalist. Soon after I wish this herbalist, she disappeared without a trace. I desperately wish to understand my illness, so I wish to hire you to find her. When you do, learn as much as from, but as much from her as you can without about the medicine she gave me. If by suffering as a result of her wickedness, they make her provide an antidote. I assure you, I have ample wealth and will reward you of no small part of it for your services. If it turns out my suffering is not the fault of the herbalist, please let her go. I will then have a different task for you, because this shall mean I am afflicted by a terrible curse, which only the gods can cure. I believe it was cast from me by a certain beggar who came by the manor while I was hosting a sorry for a few friends. If you can find that vagrant, I will pay you double. Sadly, all I remember of him is that he sold mirrors. I am aware this is not much aid for you for your hunt, yet I trust in your considerable talents and wish you best of luck. Marlene de Tastamarat. That must be the white. Spoon, spoon, spoons. So, I reckon it's the beggar then. Woman's name scratched into this wooden spoon. Romantic. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. Broken neck. Indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. Right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Okay, let's go downstairs. This must be where she is. I hope I got everything. I don't want to kill her. Actually does seem like a white's lair. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Spoons. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. I can hear her. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Cauldron I was looking for. Why it's not particularly tidy. Table's set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here. Definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. Mm. Another spoon. Yep. 
Just as normal as the last one. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. More spoons? No. Whitstone. What's here? Oh, okay. Is that everything here? Golden's okay. empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't mm. get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. What's down here, though? Let's see what's down here. Oh, maybe I'll just go hide in the place. I feel like if I go down there, that's where she is, and I'll have to kill her, but let's hide. But yeah, I'm not too scared. Okay, I thought it would be scary, like, the haunted house and Hearts of Stone and Iris's painted world, but it's pretty okay so far. And since I know what a white looks like now from... Oh man, she's got heaps of spoons. Oh, I feel sorry for him. For her, it, whatever it is. It, her, him. Oh, suffering. Can it smell us? Let's try to lift the curse. Oh, what's with this first person perspective? Eesh. Let's go, Geralt. I'm not gonna hurt you. I wanna help. I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. I think I know how to lift it. Ooh. Please, keep a distance. <sighs> you tried to bring folk here. Convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Okay. Your willing guest. Okay, okay. Okay. So, I guess if you do... What, like what's against the curse, Just then... Just for Regis. Will work. And now, we'll tend to you. Is right. Words of the curse were No shall sit and dine with you. With you at your table. Spoon. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. The Need spoon. To get this right. Words of the curse were None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon, no spoon you have shall you say have to you. Shall say Never to again you. shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. No spoon you have shall say to you. Eat spoons. Eat with using spoons, I mean. Are you going to eat that? <laughs> Go on, Geralt. Just do it. Of a taste this check. Isn't right. I miss something. Listen, gonna stand up real slow. Gotta search the house again. Sit tight, I'll be right back. No, 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 no. Calm down. <laughs> no. Oh, did I do something wrong? Damn it. Didn't work. Ain't that vile stuff for nothing. Got the brew for Regis at least. Can't do anything for the white though, except cut it down. Did I do something wrong? No. Sometimes I'll have to kill the 
dynamite in its own junk heap. Can I reload this? Okay. I got a feeling it's this one then, because it say swap spoons, but eat without using spoons then. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Okay. This should be it, I hope. <laughs> Open your eyes. You need to see your likeness. Oh. Face. Face it. Oof. Oof. Okay, so it looks like that worked then. Oh man. Gerald's face. I think it worked. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Won't be hard to find given its stench. Okay. Okay. Yay! She sounds normal. Shh, easy. Not gonna hurt you. Oh. I, I must eat. Oh, yay. She's back to normal. Give her some food. Yay, hey, she's back to normal. I'll take you someplace safe. Yay, happy ending. I'm glad I went back and reloaded that. Ooh, yeah, back to your place. Yeah, we can offer a safe place to stay. And... So I took her by the hand and let her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? She was cursed. Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the Malena, very beautiful and not heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality. It obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune uh, down upon oneself. Yeah. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs mm. than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Hmm. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? The simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. <laughs> I imagine so. That's true. But of course. Most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. Yay. I'm happy. I'm happy I went back. Cool gonna leave this video right here then it wasn't as scary as i thought which is really good i really thought that it was gonna be scary like uh iris's painted world in hearts of stone but no it was good um it was a good 
uh, enough of airy, get a ma good amount of airiness, uh, but enough for me to handle and not be scared. And yeah, I'm very glad I went back to reload that part. Uh, otherwise, I would have felt bad not helping her, needing to kill her. I'm very glad that we also completed the uh, uh, quest with Guillaume and Vivian. It turned out that Vivian was actually a really nice uh, lady with a good heart. Um, I found her very beautiful in that form of the bird even though obviously she was unhappy uh, in that form and she didn't have any freedom being that way. Um, but yeah, I'm very glad that we also lifted the curse for her in that and she's probably gone and travel traveling to Valor now, I'm guessing, by the sounds of it. Uh, but I'm very glad that she didn't get together with Guillaume because Guillaume sounds like a dick. Like, even though he loved her um he was very selfish in his ways like he wanted to love her um but he didn't really consider her feelings or her thoughts he wanted everything to go his way um like how he got angry at uh Geralt not sharing what's happening with Vivian and he, even though Vivian didn't want anyone knowing her secret, and even though we told him that she didn't want to tell anyone, he still needed to go sneak into the tent and eavesdrop just to see what happened. So it's like he didn't respect her, uh, her, her uh, decision and just forced his way uh, into finding out what he wanted to find out anyway. So that's quite selfish of him. Um, but no, I'm very happy for Vivian then, even though it's just only seven years that she has. But definitely, I feel like the quality of life is way more important than the length of life. Um, the quality, now that she's free, she can live a, uh, a great quality of life uh, with great fulfillment um, instead of being in that bird form and hiding away all the time and needing to feed herself that antidote all the time so definitely definitely worth it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video with me if you did please give this bit a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you thought about this part of the game and i'll see you in the next video guys thanks for watching bye <laughs>